everybody, it is James here with Max Out Fitness under Active and Mission. Um, today I wanted to just to go over with you guys just a little brief testimonial on the Got My 15 challenge. Now for those of you who do not know what that challenge is, it is basically a challenge that we started simply where you have an accountability partner or what we call a buddy for one week and you stay in the Word of God every day for 15 minutes. And that is as simple as telling the other person, got my 15 over a text. And that is pretty much the basis of the, um, of the challenge of the got my 15. And, it, and it's great for accountability and helping people stay in the word of God. Now today I wanted to just go over with you just a little bit of a testimonial on my experience with the challenge. You know, maybe a, a little while back when I was first, you know, I was first getting going and started with everything. One thing that I always struggled with is staying in the Word of God consistently. You know, and it's not that I never picked up my Bible. I would always do it here and there, but I'm never, I wasn't getting the consistency and getting in the Word of God every day and getting a revelation for my life. And it, I can always use the common excuse, as lots of us do nowadays, is like, hey, I'm just too busy. You know, that's one I hear many times. And hey, that's one I've probably, probably said myself too. Um, but another one is just simply for myself, I just personally didn't like to read very much. And I know that sounds silly, but even, even just growing up in a sense, you know, I've, oh, I never liked being, I you know, never liked reading very much. And that just seemed to transfer over even into adulthood is I just didn't enjoy reading very much. And you know, that always kind of hindered me a little bit because it was really a discipline. Like I had to be motivated to read the word of God. And, and so as the as I as this challenge like initially started, um, it was really cool because, you know, I remember I was preaching one Sunday and then I announced the challenge at the end of the service. And I remember my first buddy, it was my cousin Damien. And um, for that whole week, he kept me accountable to staying in the word of God. And, you know, and it was a lot easier having that person with me, having that account accountability piece of it was huge for me. Because not only did I make sure I disciplined myself, but I had that consistency. And I went on for that entire week and got my 15. And so it was a really blessing to have him for that week. And then even moving forward after that, like week after week after week, you know, some weeks I had a buddy, some weeks I didn't. Now, on the weeks that I didn't, I was still in the Word of God every day. And it was something, it, it's just, just that challenge for that one week just built this pattern in me. It just built a big pattern and I was able to continually consistent. And one thing I noticed for me, it's really just all about the consistency piece of it. You know, lots of people know me because I'm a, I do personal training. That's what, that's more, I'm known for the fitness arena. Um, but it's the same thing like with the gym, lots of people, like if you go to the gym and you come back home and you look in the mirror, you're not, you know, you're, you're, your body's not going to be transformed. You know what I mean? That takes time. And we all know that that takes consistency over a period of time to really get the results. So just like this challenge and reading the word of God in general, I'm not saying God can reveal you your revelation reading the Bible one time. I, I'm, of course he can do that. Um, but over time is when I really noticed that consistency of staying in it. That's when I noticed God starting to speak to me. That's when I noticed him starting to move my life in other directions, starting to lead me. It's because that consistent fellowship with him, you know, and I think that's so important because it's not just like reading, you know, listening to a sermon on your phone. Those things are absolutely great. Or listening to a podcast like our Quick Start Bible Study podcast. Those things are absolutely amazing. But one thing I think is so important, and that is going into the word of God yourself and getting that revelation from the Lord. And so that, that was what this challenge has created for me. It's been absolutely amazing. Now I have a buddy week after week. And the coolest thing is, is now that I've built a pattern for myself and I'm now consistent, my most worried and concern is me trying to find somebody else to do the same. I think it is the coolest thing in the world that, you know, with this challenge, I have the ability to make sure somebody reads their Bible every day for one week. I think that is the coolest thing. It's great for discipleship. It's great even just for a friendship, getting closer with somebody, and just being a good influence on everybody. There's so many different benefits that come with this. So that was my personal testimony on this challenge. I really do encourage y'all to follow us. Um, we have an Instagram page with Facebook, YouTube, and we have our website, activeinmission.org. 
go give us a shout. And if you have any prayer requests or anything else, you can please submit them to us. Right now, we're in the midst of building a prayer team here at Active in Mission. Um, and we would love for you guys to submit your prayer requests and anything you have on your heart. And we would absolutely love to pray for you. And lastly, before I go, I'd like to mention one more thing. But uh, we have these custom made from scratch, Got My 15 Bookmarks. Now, these are absolutely awesome. <laughs> we have been handing these out like crazy. You know, if you want one, contact us again at any of our social media. We'll get one to you. But as soon as you complete the challenge, you need to have one of these bookmarks. So every time you open the Word of God, you'll see that Got My 15, right? And whenever you work with somebody else, same thing. If you get multiple bookmarks, just do that. As soon as you, somebody finishes the challenge with you, you hand them a bookmark as well. And then it's just a constant pattern. As soon as you finish, you know, doing the challenge with somebody, hopefully that person will then go find somebody. You see how it just kind of, you know, snowball effect going on there. That's really what we hope for with this challenge. So we, I really appreciate your time today, guys. But that is what I wanted to share with you. Just a little testimony on this awesome challenge. Um, if you want more information on it or you want to get started or, or you need a buddy, again, contact us at Active Admission and um, we'll, be, uh, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.